What is wrapped energy? Wrapped energy, the, the reason we built the energy bridge initially was because of the high transaction costs in Ethereum. What it allows you to do is take your energy, move it over to Binance Smart Chain. Now, because things are taking really, really slow, a few minutes ago, I sent two of my energy over to the wrapped energy um, on the Binance chain. And it took like, it took a while. So to make things concise, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna change my um, uh, network. And by the way, when you go to pancakeswap.finance, you have to, if you're in the US, you have to have a VPN, okay, it won't work. Uh, but if you do, it's really simple. It'll configure your MetaMask instantly and you'll be on Binance chain. So now I'm on Binance chain. I can go ahead and um, claim uh, my, my energy that is, is waiting for me. I hit claim and it's this simple. I hit submit, confirm. And what's gonna happen is my two energy that I sent from Ethereum are now crossed over the bridge. And as soon as this transaction is complete, those two energy will now be wrapped energy. You see I have 0.996. And soon as this completes, I'll have the balance will be in my wallet. So you don't have to, unlike other bridges that might be out there, you don't have to send transactions and figure all this out. You literally come to our bridge. It recognizes your energy that's in your wallet. You send it over and it, you can go back over the bridge just as well. You can take your wrapped energy, you can redeem it. And it sends it back over to your Ethereum wallet on the other side. So that's the concept of a bridge. A bridge simply moves an Ethereum coin to the Binance coin. I'm gonna explain to you why this is so important. And then in the case of energy, now if you have it in form of wrapped energy, you can purchase dApps, you can transact, you can use it without paying the high gas fees. The costs on Binance Smart Chain for wrapped energy are as a fraction of what it was. And this is a previous announcement. This is now working at, at energybridge.on.fleet.o. Um, it is fully functioning. And we'll be adding some additional enhancements to it here shortly where you can just purchase wrapped energy rate from the bridge if you don't want to convert your current energy over. Um, and it also will show, um, but, you know, you'll be able to, to move coins from one to the other. But I'm going to go to the presentation about the big news. That's what we're going to go in right now. As I mentioned to you, uh, it, Energy is all about improving DeFi, right? Sorry, go back. So when Ethereum users cross over, which means use the energy bridge, their Ethereum coin is converted to a wrapped energy coin on the Binance Smart Chain. It connects your wallet with a mouse click, and it changes, and you can change your Ethereum coin into a Binance Smart Chain coin, that simply. You don't have to do any transactions, copy any QR codes, move stuff around. It just simply goes from one coin in your wallet across the bridge to Binance Smart Chain. And I'll tell you what, what the advantage of Binance Smart Chain is going to be. So why use the energy bridge? People on Ethereum, we all know we need lower transaction costs, right? That's the first reason. So when changing your Ethereum token to Binance token, you save on transaction fees. Typically, Binance is done at a fraction of the cost of Ethereum. So what we're announcing today is on top of having wrapped energy, we are also going to have energy BTC, which is going to be equal to a, a Bitcoin. We're also going to have energy ETH, which is going to be equal to Ethereum. We're going to have energy link and energy uni, and there's going to be many, many more coins to come so that when you use this bridge, you'll be able to convert these highly traded and uh, leading coins in the industry to the energy version on Binance Smart Chain. Well, that's great, but what is the advantage of doing that? And the key advantage is utility. We're gonna offer for energy coins, whether it be your energy Ethereum, your energy Bitcoin, or any form of energy that crosses over the bridge, we're gonna offer what DeFi really needs. DeFi needs Faster trading. I mean, I'm an experienced trader, been trading on Wall Street for many, many decades. And let's face it, DeFi is slow, right? Many times you want a fast execution and you just can't get that on DeFi. So it's going to offer, Energy Bridge is going to offer a way for you to take your energy coin and get a super fast trade. 
It's also going to allow you to get leverage trading position in a fair way. There are leverage opportunities in the market. They charge huge interest rates. They take huge fees. Okay, with wrapped energy and wrapped coins, energy versions of coins like energy Bitcoin, energy Ethereum, you won't have to pay those fees. And we're going to eliminate the gas fees entirely and all the transaction fees, except obviously when you go over the bridge or when you come back over to reconvert your coin back to Ethereum. So here's what the utility of energy wrap tokens are. Can instantly, you can convert your Ethereum into a USD value using the energy bridge. What does that mean? You can take, you can take your Ethereum, bring it over the energy bridge, click on it, and whatever the USD value of, of Ethereum is at that time, you can stabilize it at that USD value. So it's effectively what you're doing is you're getting into a cash value. Now, how, what that does is it allows, if the price of Ethereum goes down, it maintains the USD value of your Ethereum, your energy coin Ethereum or your energy Bitcoin or any of your energy coin. That allows you to trade in and out going from a cash value to the underlying, which is Bitcoin or any coins that you're trading, back and forth, fee-free, instantly. Next, it can be used for fee-free, interest-free leverage trading. If you have a feeling that Bitcoin or Ethereum is going to go up, or Link, or any or Uni, you can get free, with energy wrapped coins, free, interest-free, fee-free leverage trading. This is going to revolutionize the business. It is going to be a, a huge windfall for us. And it's needed because people need that utility. Energy tokens, energy Bitcoin, energy, all of our energy tokens will have these features and they will be available when you cross over the energy bridge from Ethereum. And of course, you can go when you're ready, you can take your energy token, you can go back over the bridge for the Binance side and redeem it for the underlying Ethereum wrapped Bitcoin energy on the other side. So these is just freely exchangeable anytime you want. You can now do several things. You can take your Ethereum coin, turn it into an energy token by going over the bridge. You then can convert that into, you will be able to convert that into USD value. You also will be able to uh, leverage that fee free and interest free. And you can be traded instantly, like I said, between the underlying USD value and uh, the underlying coin value. So it can be quickly sent hey. back. And this is hey, yes. Alan, yes. not to interrupt you, but in, in going through the chat, the one thing I wanted to make sure of is that people are understanding what in the world is really going on right now. And a lot of people are having trouble comprehending. So can you break it down into layman's terms as far as basically sure. what this means? Let me, let me do that, Alan. You want me to do that? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Guys, here's, just, here, here's how big this announcement is. Okay, in layman's terms. People are going to be able to take their cryptocurrencies, different cryptocurrencies they have. They're going to be able to stabilize the dollars behind them without actually leaving the currency. In many, many different countries, there's a tax consequence when you sell for dollars. You have those, all those different consequences. Plus, a lot of times people don't want to leave the particular currency. They just want to gain more when the price goes down, right? They want to gain more of it. So they're going to be able to take their Ethereum, their Bitcoin, their Aave, their Uniswap, their SushiSwap, all those different coins. They're going to be able to take them through the energy bridge, get a wrapped energy Ethereum, wrapped energy Bitcoin, wrapped energy Uniswap, wrapped energy Sushi Swap, wrapped energy, you name it, okay? They're going to be able to take them through the bridge they're going to be able to stabilize the price, get a yield, a yield on their different cryptos. And they're also going to be able to get leverage, leverage without any fees whatsoever, whatsoever. Okay. This is how big this is. When they go through the bridge, there will be a 1% fee on the way in. And they, they, can, they can literally stabilize, earn a yield. They can get leverage. They don't get, have any fees. They can do that as much as they want. And when they go back through the bridge, there is a 1% fee when they go back through the bridge. Guys, a lot of different 
exchanges, a lot of different platforms, De DeFi especially, people are paying high fees to swap back and forth. Huge fees, enormous fees. Even on a centralized exchange, they're still paying about, when you do the buy and the sell, a half a percent per, per trade. Now, they're going to be able to go through the energy bridge, okay? And by the way, they're not going to need to buy wrapped energy to go through the bridge. That 1% fee comes out of their particular asset. If it's Bitcoin that they're turning into a into a wrapped energy Bitcoin, that 1% fee comes out of their Bitcoin. If it's Ethereum that they're doing, that 1% fee comes out of their Ethereum, okay? We didn't make this to where they have to jump through a bunch of hoops. They're gonna be able to go experience this DAP, be able to use this decentralized application where they take, they enter through the bridge, they pay the 1% fee, and I'm gonna get to that here in just a second, why that's so big. They're going to be able to take and stabilize the value of that asset. So if the price goes down, they're going to get a yield. They're going to earn more coins. Or they can get leverage. And if the price goes up, they're going to make even more. And they're going to be able to do that with, with zero, zero fees. Zero fees. Now, guys, this, this is so epic and it's so big. This will put energy on the map. I'm going to tell you, we're going to be doing a press release shortly. I think we're going to release it this week, but I think we're going to go ahead and hold off for, for, for at least a week. And here's why. I want you guys to be able to use it to your advantage. Go out, take it to the people you know. Let them know that something big is, is happening behind energy and give you guys a chance in the community to... to get the grassroots campaign out there before we actually drop the press release yeah, to the yeah. crypto community as a whole. Now, yeah. I, I want to, one thing I so want to say, one thing, Dwayne. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. So what this does is it takes your Ethereum coins. When you cross over the bridge, it gives it greater utility. It allows now, when, once you've wrapped it in energy, you now can convert it to a stable US dollar value. You can get free trading back and forth between that US dollar value and the underlying coin. And you also can get free interest-free leverage. And that is the function on the bridge that we will be adding in the coming weeks. And it's going to change the way that uh, the cost structure is going to be a very disruptive and very important advancement in DeFi. Go ahead, Dwayne. Extremely disruptive in DeFi. Extremely disruptive, guys. Think about that. Never has there been a time where people could take and instead, when they want to take and they want to gain more value on what they have, and they think, oh my gosh, you know, this price is going to go down temporarily. I want to stabilize the price. I don't want to necessarily sell. I just want to step out for a second and stabilize that price to be able to get a yield, to be able to get more Bitcoin, more Ethereum. They're going to be able to do that. Maybe they think the price is going way up. They're going to be able to get leverage. They could take the, 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 the leverage part of the equation and they're going to be able to, to also earn a yield from the leverage. Yeah. I'm and, energy point, yeah and energy uh, tokens are exchangeable for the underlying. The price will be the same, whether it be Bitcoin, Ethereum. Those could be moved back over to the Ethereum side. You can liquidate them there or you can eventually liquidate them on pools on Binance exchange. So the pricing will be the same. You can go from a cash position without selling your underlying Ethereum or any of your other Ethereum coins. You can then, when you think the price is going up, you can just uh, enter into or just hold the wrapped energy uh, coin long, which means you get all the price appreciation. And if you choose, you can leverage that and get up to three, four, five to one leverage on your position if you choose to take that risk. So it's all up to you. That utility does not exist in any other fashion in the industry right now. So this brings me to my next point. How big is this for you, for the energy community? How big is it for the energy community who is staking coins? Guys, this is so insanely huge. I'm going to paint the picture for you. You know that 1% that people pay when they go through the bridge? 
And they don't have to, like I said, they don't have to jump through hoops and buy energy to do all this. They can just literally take their, their Bitcoin or their Ethereum and cross the bridge. Those fees come out of whatever asset that they have. On the back end, the, 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 the smart contract will actually sell those assets, those fees it collects for energy. It'll actually, it'll actually sell them and it'll buy energy with them to reward the, the stakeholders of energy. But that 1% fee that people pay on the way in, that 1% fee that people pay on the way out through the bridge, guess what happens? 20% of that is shared back with the stakeholders who are staking at least 25 coins. Now, may not sound like much to you, but I want to paint this picture. Alan, I'm going to share my screen so I can paint this picture to everybody how big this is. Okay. Let me go ahead and share my screen. So I want to share with you how big this, this, this could be. I want to pull up my calculator. Guys, let's say we have the, 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 just that goes through that bridge in a day. Okay. Let's say we have a hundred million dollars that goes through that bridge in a day, which in the cryptocurrency industry is very, very, very realistic. Okay. A hundred million dollars crosses through that bridge a day. 1% of a hundred million is $1 million, okay? We take 20% of that, 20% of that goes to the stakeholders, that's $200,000. Right now, guys, there's about 300 coin holders with 25 energy or more, okay? 25 energy or more. If we took that, and guys, I got to be clear. I want to give the disclaimer. This is example purposes only. This is no in no <laughs> way to be construed as a guarantee. I need to make sure I give that that uh, that disclaimer. But if we divide that by three hundred, that's basically six. Well, that's an evil number. Let's call it six sixty-seven. <laughs> that's six sixty. That's basically about. That's over six hundred dollars a day worth of energy that those people holding holding 25 coins or more uh, are earning a day. A lot, of, a lot of different places. This DAP has the potential to do much more volume than that. And you say, okay, we're new. Guys, even if we had $10 million that went through the bridge per day, 10 million times 1% of 10 million, that's 100,000 times 20% of that. That's 20,000 that would go back to the stakeholders with at least 25 coins or more. If we divide that by the current supply, that's an extra $60 a day, guys, $60 a day in a month's time. That's generating $2,000 worth of energy for them in this example. But yeah, so, so in, in, in summary, if you look at the volume of trading that goes on with these coins and you look at how much money trades across and you look at the, the, utility and we're going to have to develop the people have to learn about it we have to develop the, the the trust and confidence of the DeFi community for the energy bridge but you can see the potential if we got just a small fraction of the people to, that are currently trading in DeFi Let and, me, and and on centralized exchanges what? to use the energy bridge it is an enormous opportunity for us and we are the first to do it. Alan, so let me paint the true potential, guys. What I gave you was really conservative examples. I want to give you the true potential. What is the daily volume that Binance does each day? And we all know that the world is going to DeFi, guys. Centralized exchanges are not going to do the volume that they're doing over the coming years because everybody's leaving centralized exchanges to go to decentralized exchanges. To have a DAP that is way ahead of the curve of anything else that is so disruptive in DeFi is huge. Binance right now is doing, look at this number, guys. That is $175 billion, billion with a B, billion dollars a day. $175 billion. What if we just got $1 billion a day going through the bridge? How big would that be? to stakeholders. Guys, 1 billion, let me pull up my calculator and I wanna give this last example. 1 billion a day 
Actually, I want to give two examples. One billion a day. That's one billion times one percent. Guys, that's 10 million a day times 20% of that. Remember, 20% goes to the stakeholders. That's 2 million a day that would get dispersed amongst all the different stakeholders that have 25 coins or more. And right now there are three about 300 people. That's what it would be per day to the stakeholders. Yeah. Well, well, and obviously this is all projections. This is all hypothetical. We, you know, we, first we have to, you know, roll out these services, which, which we're on uh, full effort. As you know, we've been popping stuff out really, really fast. We're going to, this additional utility for energy wrap coins is going to give people a huge advantage. Who isn't going to want to trade for free? Who isn't going to want faster executions? Who isn't going to want to be able to convert their coin into a USD value and get a yield off of it? All of these utilities are going to be very, very attractive for people to come over. And obviously, no matter what it is, we're going to create a cash flow into the um, market making staking contract. And our coin holders are going to participate in that. And what is that going to do for energy? Once that's done, and we're not, and I'm not telling you today, I'm talking about once we first launch the services and the services are then adopted, it's going to make energy an institutional quality crypto uh, opportunity that institutions are going to be interested in. Why? Because they can come in, stake, and now they get a cash flow and they get a cash flow off of this business. And this is just one of the businesses that we are going to be rolling out. We have many, we have uh, Genie Signal, and we have many others that are coming in coming weeks. We have one app like this, one service like this one alone. Strap. It's one. one. Strap. And we have many, many, many rolling out. We have different groups working on different uh, projects right now. You're going to start to see lots of development happening. We are going to be, uh, and once again, we're leading the industry. Alan, Go ahead. let's just do one more. I want to do one more example. Guys, again, this is all hypothetical. This is all examples. This is not to be construed as a guarantee. I want to make that really clear. But let's say we were to get 10% of the, the volume that Binance does, $17 billion that goes through that bridge. $17 billion comes through that bridge at 1%. And then stakeholders get 20% 20, 20 of that. Guys, that's 34 million. Now let's say maybe the stakeholders aren't 300. Maybe we have a lot of other people who get 25 coins or more. And now there's 2,000 people that that's being shared between. That's what it would be. These numbers are crazy, crazy. Even if you say, okay, let's just figure it up for 10,000 people that are staking at least. And remember, there's only a limited supply of energy. So there can't be a ton of stakeholders that have 25 coins or more. But even if you say, okay, it's 10,000 people, let's just use that example. 17 billion times 1%, 20% of that stakeholders, that's 34 million. We divide that amongst 10,000 people. I mean, these, these are the kind of numbers. And, and, you know, and in, in the, yeah, and in this scenario, even if you don't own 25 energy, other people will be acquiring energy to get to that 25, and then you're going to benefit in the hypothetical scenario that uh, that this is well received, well adopted. But you can see it's a great opportunity for our community. We're going after it. We're going to be the first to do it. And you know, it, you know, with a little bit of good fortune, uh, I think we have a high probability of delivering. It's kind of an opportunity to our community. And those are the kinds of opportunities we work on. And we have other people working on additional ones. This is just one of our bullets in our holster. And just I wanna, one. I want to circle back around. I want to I wanna I wanna add to what you were saying, Alan. Okay. So even if you can't stake 25 energy, maybe you can only stake five energy, maybe you can only stake two energy, one energy, whatever it may be. It really doesn't matter. Why? Because remember, as more people enter the staking contract, the way the coin mints, when there's more liquidity comes in the coin, it will produce a bigger reward. Now you've got all these people that are trying to get 25 energy staked, 
And you've got all this, these coins going into staking, which means that your reward, your staking reward from the minting grows much, much more when that happens. So there is a real advantage to, to staking less than 25 coins if that's all somebody can afford. Don't, don't say, oh man, I can't get 25 coins. That's not, look, you can get to that 25 through the minting. You can earn rewards through the minting. What's going to make energy more valuable is that people, people whether it's institutional uh, investors, whether it's regular people, they're going to be chomping at the bit to be able to get this, this cash flow, this revenue from all these different DAP streams. And like we said, it just takes one blockbuster DAP, one blockbuster DAP that blows the doors off and changes everything. And I'm here to tell you that I think that this DAP that we're creating is going to be that big of a blockbuster DAP. This is huge, guys. This is this is insane. Now, I do want to add one last thing. Alan, did you have anything? Did we, did we want to add any more on that subject or did we cover it well? Uh, Peter, did I think you? We, I think we covered it well.